What's up everyone, in this video I'll be showing you the results from killing Firewatch for 10 hours. And for this one our stats were 91 attack and 99 strength. And I'd just like to give a quick shout out to Matthew Gilbert for the suggestion for this video. And with that covered let's get right into it, starting with the loot. So as you can all see, the loot for this one came out to just over 3.3 mil in total, which was quite surprising to me as I expected it to be a lot lower. What was also quite surprising about this loot though is how weird the Firewatch drop table actually is, with by far the most perplexing drops being all of the different gemstone bolt tips. Now if you happen to be someone who's forgotten how to leave Mauritania, some of the best drops from these are the nature runes and the sheer amount of alcohols that you can use to increase your cash stack. For the rest of us, most of these items aren't that special, although for an early to mid game player, a lot of these items would prove to be quite useful, especially if you're an Iron Man. Moving on to the experience, we got almost 45k melee experience per hour here, which is definitely on the upper end of the amount you can expect. Unfortunately, due to the fact that you have to use the Avondis Flail to kill them, and due to the fact that they're quite spread out, you really aren't going to get that much experience per hour killing these, so you definitely shouldn't be using these as a melee training method. One of the nicer things about killing Firewatch though is the incredibly low supply cost, and this comes down to the fact that they really don't deal that much damage, so you don't need to use any expensive food on them, even if you have very basic gear. And the profit for this one when factoring in the supply cost comes out to 317k per hour. And again I do have to note that this is really on the upper end of what you can expect because I am almost a maxed player. So for most people you could expect 200k or even 100k per hour in profit instead. Again if you're someone who really likes Mauritania and never wants to leave, this is a really decent method for making raw cash through alcohols until you can kill gargoyles. But for everyone else this really isn't a decent PVM method for making any kind of profit. And finally we also managed to kill around 123 Firewatch per hour, mainly focusing on the lower level ones on the coast. In terms of killing Viawatch though, there is a few things you need to be aware of. First of all, Viawatch can disrupt you mid-combat to force you to speak with them, which is a bit annoying over a longer time period. Another thing to be aware of is that Viawatch don't actually aggro onto you at all, and they can fly over the coast into the ocean so you can't actually hit them all of the time. Which again makes these slightly less convenient to kill, as you have to click on every single one, and they're also quite spread out to boot. Aside from these drawbacks though, the Firewatch are very easy to kill, and you don't really need to put much focus into it. They don't really have any high max hits, and they also don't have especially high accuracy either, so you don't need to bank that often at all. And even though the content is quite out of the way for the normal RuneScape player, Draken's Medallion practically takes you to their doorstep, and right next to a bank as well, which makes it pretty convenient to bank and stock up on more food between between trips. Essentially they're really easy to camp, but for most ordinary players there are much better options available. And with all of that said, that is it for the findings of this video, so I do hope you enjoyed. And that's it from me, so I hope you're all having a wonderful day as always, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!